Chapter 20 The World's Great People Great People and I During the course of this book, we have told you about several scientists, inventors and leaders who have contributed to make this world a better place to live. There are many more people whose work continues to affect us even decades after they worked and lived. Let us know about a few of them. There have been several great people whose keen observation, intelligence, new ideas and hard work have paved the way for a better world in which we live now. Here are a few of them. Socrates, 469 BC to 399 BC. Socrates was a Greek philosopher and teacher. He lived in Athens in Greece about 2400 years ago. These were the ignorant times. People were superstitious. They thought that disease or death was caused when God was angry. The religion dominated the lives of people. Socrates saw that the cause of their problems was their lack of logic and reason. So, he motivated people to believe in the spirit of inquiry and truth. He urged them not to accept anything blindly. He said that they should find the cause behind everything. He said that the truth can be known by asking questions. What Socrates said was liked by young men in particular. He earned many disciples, so he turned very popular among them. The rulers and dominant people did not like this. They said that Socrates was misleading people and undermining their authority. They asked him to stop, but Socrates was a votary of the truth. Socrates had to sacrifice his life for the spirit of reason and inquiry. He was made to drink a cup of poison called hemlock. He drank it most cheerfully in front of his friends. He died in 399 BC at the age of 70. He is remembered for his ideas even today. Socrates has not written, we know about him from what Plato, his favorite disciple, wrote. Abraham Lincoln, 1809 AD till 1865 AD. Abraham Lincoln was born in a poor family in 1809 in Kentucky, USA. He was very honest, so he was called Honest Abe. One day in his childhood, he cut down many plants. When his father grew angry, Abraham came forward and said that he had done this, so honest he was. Due to poverty, he could not go to school, but he wanted to study, so he learned by his personal effort. He helped his father in his farming work and utilized his free time in teaching himself. He borrowed books from people. Later, he also worked as a laborer, a boatman and a storekeeper. Lincoln studied the law and became a lawyer. He then entered politics and was elected to the Illinois State Legislature in 1834. As he rose in popularity, he became the President of the United States. Lincoln wanted to help the slaves who were sold and bought like animals. They were forced to work for long hours under very inhuman conditions. These slaves were Negroes who were enslaved by the whites. Abraham Lincoln believed that slavery was a blot on humanity. When he tried to abolish slavery, some states opposed his decision. It led to a civil war between northern and southern states. It was after a great effort that slavery was abolished in America in 1864. With this, this discrimination came to an end. Riding on the wave of his popularity, Lincoln became the president again in 1865. However, he did not live long after this. On 14 April 1865, he was shot when he was watching a play. He died the next day. He is remembered for his great deeds even today. Martin Luther King Jr. 1929 AD to 1968 AD some people think that the people with the dark skin are inferior. Martin Luther King Jr. suffered with this kind of discrimination, so he raised his voice against it. He was born in 1929 in Atlanta, United States. He was a black American.
The whites discriminated against the blacks. They did not allow them many rights. The blacks were not allowed to use common water taps or sit in the buses until all the whites were seated. They were made to live in isolated colonies which had no facilities. They could not enter many places which were exclusively reserved for the whites. These places include restaurants, parks, schools or some roads even. Martin Luther King raised his voice against this type of discrimination. He united the blacks and asked them to raise their voice in a non-violent manner. At his call, the people did not use bus services for a year. The government was pressurized by this and finally discrimination in transport, education and other public places was stopped. For his service to humanity, Martin Luther King was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. He was unfortunately assassinated in 1968. Mother Teresa, 1910 AD to 1997 AD. Agnes Gongse Begchezia, popularly known as Mother Teresa, was born in Yugoslavia in 1910. When she became a nun she arrived in India in 1929 as a teacher and taught in Kolkata for about 20 years when she saw the pitiable condition of the poor and the sick she was moved and decided to serve humanity mother teresa gave up the job of the teacher and set up her own order called the missionaries of charity she had no money but she managed it anyhow She started her mission to serve the poor and the needy. She set up a number of orphanages, hospitals, old age homes, homes for the dying, homes for lepers, etc. Her order works in most of the Indian cities as well as in numerous cities all over the globe. Her service made her a popular figure, but she continued to lead a very simple life. Mother Teresa died at a ripe age in 1997. Mother Teresa was awarded the Nobel Prize for Peace, the Bharat Ratna and many more awards. She has been beatified. That is, she is believed to be a saint. Even after her death, her order continues to serve the humanity. Nelson Mandela, 1918 AD to 2013 AD. Nelson Mandela was a black man so he suffered discrimination at the hands of the whites so he decided to raise his voice he was born on 18 July 1918 in South Africa he studied the law he noticed that the whites discriminated against the blacks everywhere their social professional and economical rights were not given to them This policy of discrimination in South Africa was called apartheid. To fight apartheid, Mandela joined the Youth League of the African National Congress, which was already fighting for the blacks' rights. The whites were very ruthless. They crushed the voice of the blacks. A large number of blacks were either killed or subjected to inhuman cruelties. During the course of the movement Nelson Mandela had to go to jail a number of times and finally in 1964 he was sentenced for life he continued to guide the movement from inside the jail itself the long struggle compelled the white rulers to change their minds as a result general elections were held in 1994 in which both the blacks and the whites participated on equal terms The African National Congress won these elections. With this, Nelson Mandela became the first black president of South Africa. Important terms: superstitious, blind faith without any reason, slavery, the practice of making slaves. Important facts: Socrates believed in the spirit of inquiry and truth. Abraham Lincoln abolished slavery in America. Martin Luther King worked for the rights of the blacks in America. Mother Teresa served the poor and the sick all her life. Nelson Mandela fought against the policy of apartheid in South Africa.